Welcome to my channel, detailing events throughout the decades. 1984 Murder of Yvonne Fletcher Yvonne Joyce Fletcher was born June 15, 1958, in the Wiltshire village of Simley. Yvonne was the eldest daughter of Michael and Queenie Fletcher. At the age of three, she told her parents that she wanted to join the police force. When she was 18, she applied to several police forces, but was turned down because of her height. She was 5 feet 2.5 inches. The required height to be on the police force was 5 feet 4 inches. Yvonne considered applying for entry to the Royal Hong Kong Police Force. However, in March 1977, Yvonne was accepted onto the Metropolitan Police. 20 week training course. She passed this and was placed on the standard two year probation period, with the warrant number 4257. Yvonne was posted to Bow Street Police Station, where she completed her probation period. She was nicknamed Super Fletch by her colleagues. Yvonne became engaged to PC Michael Little, who also worked at Bow Street Police Station. From 1979, there had been no Libyan ambassador appointed to the United Kingdom. A revolutionary committee was in control of the Libyan embassy in London, which was located at 5 St. James Square. In 1980, Libyan's leader Muammar Gaddafi saw many exiles from Libya as traitors, and had given orders for several of them to be killed. On his instructions, bombs were planted in London newsagents that sold newspapers critical of Gaddafi. Mosakusa was appointed as secretary to the Libyan embassy, known as the People's Bureau in London 1979. He was expelled from the United Kingdom in 1980, after stating in an interview with the Times newspaper, that the Libyan government planned to murder two opponents of Gaddafi's government living in the United Kingdom. After several murders of Gaddafi's political opponents in the United Kingdom during 1980, there was a decrease in activity until 1983. On 10th and 11th of March 1984, there were a series of bomb attacks in London and Manchester, targeted at critics of the Gaddafi regime. The Libyan government denied being involved, but on March 16, the British government deported five Libyans, that were said to be connected with the bombings. The protection of diplomats and their official premises is based on the Vienna Convention on Diplomatic Relations 1961. An international treaty was signed by 141 countries, including the United Kingdom and Libya. On April 16, 1984, two students were executed in public hangings at the University of Tripoli. They were opponents of Gaddafi's rule. In response, Libyan dissidents in Britain, members of the Libyan National Salvation Front, decided to stage a demonstration outside the embassy at St. James Square, London. On April 16, a telex was sent from the embassy in London to Tripoli, asking for advice on how to deal with the demonstration. The reply was to open fire on the protesters. The message was intercepted and decrypted by the National Security Agency in the U.S., who passed the information on to government communications headquarters in the United Kingdom, where it was forwarded to MI5. They however, failed to pass this information on to the police or home office. During the night of 16, 17 April, a delegation from the embassy attended a meeting to complain about the forthcoming demonstration, wanting it to be stopped. They were told that the Metropolitan Police would be informed, but were unable to prevent the demonstration from happening. On the morning of April 17, Police workmen placed crowd control barriers in St. James Square in preparation. The police workmen, who were placing the barriers were told by one of the Libyans from the embassy that there were guns inside and there would be fighting that day. This message was relayed to police, but no action was taken. Thirty police officers were sent to St. James Square to keep an eye on the demonstration. Amongst these officers were Yvonne Fletcher and her fiancé. The demonstration began around 10 in the morning. The protesters wore masks or balaclavas to ensure their identities stayed safe. They chanted anti-Kadafi slogans, and carried banners and placards. 
A counter demonstration by Qadafi supporters had also been arranged by the embassy and took place outside the building. At around 10.18, automatic gunfire was discharged from two windows in the embassy. These were in the direction of the anti qadafi protesters. Eleven protesters were wounded. Yvonne Fletcher was also hit in the back during the shooting. The bullet traveled right to left, through her thoracic diaphragm, liver and gallbladder, before it was deflected by her spinal column and through the left side of her body, hitting her left elbow. Colleagues came to her aid, as she lay in the road outside the embassy. She was quickly moved to Charles II Street, but became unconscious and stopped breathing. A colleague tried to resuscitate her. At 10.40, she was taken to Westminster Hospital, where she was operated on, but sadly died around midday. Armed police took up positions facing the embassy, and also on rooftops. The British government requested access to the embassy, which was denied by the Libyan government. The SAS were put on standby. Talks did not go well, and on April 22, Britain informed the Libyan government that diplomatic ties were broken, and diplomats in the embassy had until midnight on April 29 to leave the country. Britain also instructed its embassy staff in Tripoli to leave the country by the same time. In total, the siege lasted 11 days. Yvonne Fletcher's hat, as well as four other officers' helmets were left lying at St. James Square during the siege. In the early morning of April 27, a policeman acted against orders, and retrieved her hat from the square. It was placed on her coffin at her funeral, which took place the same day, at Salisbury Cathedral. Around 600 police officers attended. In April 1984, film director, Michael Winner, wrote to the Times newspaper, suggesting that a memorial be placed in St. James Square to commemorate the death of this brave lady, but also to be a constant reminder to her killers, of the feelings of the British people. Michael Winner set up the Police Memorial Trust on May 3, to erect memorials in honor of British police officers killed in the line of duty. Yvonne Fletcher became the first officer honored by the Police Memorial Trust. On February 1, 1985, her memorial was unveiled in St. James Square by Prime Minister, Margaret Thatcher. A memorial plaque was also erected at Charing Cross Police Station, London. To this day, no one has ever been arrested for the murder of Yvonne Fletcher. Forever remembering Yvonne Fletcher, and the brave lady she was. May you never be forgotten. Thank you for watching and learning about events throughout history. Please subscribe to my channel to view other events which have taken place throughout the decades.